are right in the middle of these holy days, Passover and Easter. So I thought I'd take a moment to talk about them, especially because they may have even greater meaning this year as we're in the middle of this coronavirus pandemic. As you know, both Passover and Easter face head on the daunting power of death. But they also uh, celebrate God's greater power. In the case of Passover, Moses led the Jews out of slavery in Egypt. And of course, Jesus celebrated Passover on his last supper, died on the cross shortly thereafter, and then was raised from the dead. And th this raising from the dead talks about this greater power that was exhibited in the most miraculous way in Jesus' resurrection, and that speaks to this greater power that lives in you and in me, and that we celebrate as part of our conscious journey, that we are all one, that God, the divine, uh, there's no separation. She, he lives in each of us. That greater power lives in each of us. And so now, during this coronavirus pandemic, uh, the question becomes, what are the things that are perhaps that we're invited to, to have die in our life? What things maybe are old habits and patterns that no longer serve us or serve those whose lives we touch, our families, our coworkers, and others? And what things are being born into our life that involve this greater power, that involve this conscious life, that involve resurrection, that nurture us and that serve all of the people whose lives we touch. What kinds of things might those be? What things are invited to die in us? And what things are invited to, to grow in us, to be birthed into us and to grow in us? Perhaps these are things we can consider during this Passover and, and Easter holiday season. Because maybe, maybe that's why we're right in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic now. And when we're celebrating Passover and Easter, maybe these have great personal application for each of us. So let's uh, feel into that together and decide what things we're gonna let die and what things are being born that we're gonna nurture that maybe will define us for the rest of our life. Thank you <laughs> for spending a minute with me and happy Passover and happy Easter.